Hello everyone, this is the Professor J. Kim. This is what we're going to have today. So first we're going to create a writing effect, a text effect using the Adobe Animate, like a success comes in life, uh, no, in waves. It's kind of a pretty good uh, life quote. And then we're going to combine this black writing text effect on green screen and we're going to combine it with this video. So the final product is going to be uh, like this. Watch. So it's the same footage. Once I play it, waves, it's a nice drone shot, and success comes in waves. It's pretty cool. So um, uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first let's create a new Adobe Animate file. So um, create new. And then uh, the dimension is going to be 1280 pixel by 720 pixel, the HD quality video and frame rate, 30 frame rate, and HTML5 canvas, and create it. Okay, so first, uh, I'm going to type uh, words. Uh, since I'm going to make some kind of writing effect, so I'm going to use some kind of a script style. So um, the text is success. comes in waves. That's a pretty good quote in life. Okay. And make sure um, your text color is black. Okay, so first the thing is, since I'm going to erase uh, little by little of this whole text, uh, you need to modify and break apart and break apart once and twice break apart so now this is a graphic so the process is we're going to uh, erase it little by little uh, backward from the last word in this case this period so this is gonna be uh, now it is on frame number one but this is gonna be in the very last frame uh, when we finish this so first choose keyframe so insert the keyframe first so my first frame and the second frame is exactly the same and then on your second keyframe choose your eraser tool okay and then let me zoom in and i'm gonna erase it so erase the period now insert the keyframe erase a little more please do not erase too little by little uh it will take too long so uh, frame number one is completed. Frame number two, no uh, period. Frame number three, a little more. And I'm going to repeat the same steps. Insert the keyframe, erase it. Insert the keyframe and erase it. Okay, so in this process, just keep repeating the, the same steps. And then um, I'm going to fast forward this whole process. Uh, so I can save some time. Okay, so um, uh, as you see this, I erased everything little by little backward. So let me rewind it and see how it works from the first keyframe. So it is a writing effect, but um, it is more like a erasing effect. So what I need to do I, is that I just need to reverse this, this entire sequence. So I'll select the layer, the whole thing, and hold down the control or right click. Let me choose my uh, selection tool. Right click or the, hold down the control key and click on any frame. Then in this drop down menu, you're going to see reverse frames. Okay. 
So let me rewind it and play again. Success comes in waves. So it's pretty cool. Okay, and before we export this uh, sequence onto uh, the existing the video footage, what I need to do is I'm going to change my background stage color. So click on your stage anywhere, and you will see the, uh, the in the properties pa uh, panel. See the stage color. Switch your stage color from white to uh, any green like this. Okay, so watch again. So it looks pretty cool. Success comes in uh, waves. So we're going to use this kind of a green effect, uh, green screen effect. So let me save my file as a writing in my folder. Save it. Now also, I will need to export it as an MP4 video file so I can combine with the existing video footage. So under File, Export, Export Video and Media. And I'm not going to change the size, the rendering size as it is. And then the entire movie and format H.264. And then a preset YouTube 720p HD quality. And then output, that's the location. So I'm going to export it to here. Writing on video. Save it. And make sure your the Adobe Media Encoder is on. So check this box and make sure your media encoder is on. This one, media encoder. Okay, now let me go back to our Adobe Animate and export it. And let me check my file, writing.mp4, which is this. It's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Before we do that, uh, I want to make it stay a little longer. So my entire sequence is about 5 seconds. So let me make it stay in 5 more seconds. So uh, about 10 seconds here. Then let me insert the keyframe. Okay. So I'm going to export again. Save it again. And let me export uh, video and media again. I'm not going to change anything. So export it. Okay, so let me check my folder. So I'm writing one dot uh, mp4. That's the new one. So watch. Success comes in waves. And it will stay five more seconds. So it looks good. So I'm good to go. Now, uh, please download the, um, the another file, uh, uh, mp4 file, which is a wave file like this. It's a kind of a cool drone shot. Okay. So please download this file. Uh, I made a link in my description. And open uh, Premiere. Okay, so once you open uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to create a new project. And then the location is going to be uh, my folder, uh, which is writing on video folder. Choose it. And uh, I'm going to name it as uh, success. Create it. Okay. Then let me import. Go to file. Import files. Uh, one is going to be waves.mp4. Another one is writing.mp4. The second one we made. These two files. Okay, so first, please choose the end, the first one, the success comes in waves, the writing effect one. Okay, then I'm going to move this one to the second video channel. Now, waves.mp4, this one goes to the video number one, here. Just like that. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to move it just a little bit like that. So what's going to happen is, oh, first, let me choose my uh, the background the video footage, this one, the waves file. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So select your video footage 
and then let me make it a little bit smaller about that so it looks good so let me play it so first five seconds nothing's coming and success comes in waves the problem is this green screen blocks my background image so what I'm gonna do is select your writing.mp4 file this one and in your effects panel on your right in the search panel search window uh, please type ultra ultra key this one so double click so this ultra key is applied to uh, your writing uh, mp4 then in your uh, effect controls panel on your left choose the eyedropper tool you see the ultra key and click on green see it's gone so waves video and success comes in waves okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this writing effect to the left a little bit so i can view it better on white foam if you want to make it smaller or bigger you can do that okay so let me rewind it and play again okay so success comes in waves it's pretty good quote in life okay uh, and then uh, I think the first maybe five seconds without text is kind of a little too long so I'm going to cut first the two seconds out so I'll use my eraser tool cut my footage and delete select everything and back so just the first three three seconds without text and success comes in waves okay so it looks pretty good once it is done let me save my file again and let me export it as a media and then my location is gonna be writing on video folder I'm gonna name it as um, just a success save it and preset high quality 720hp HD and format H264 and export it it processes and it's gonna be done pretty soon yep three two and one and let me check my folder success.mp4 let's watch waves after three seconds success comes in waves yep so on um, the text and then uh, the video footage behind it matches perfect so um i hope you enjoyed this video and you can use it for your future videos or future project or like any type of intro videos uh for your project so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Shoo, shoo.